guys, it's Mark with Hawkeye Ordnance. Uh, while I was editing a video for shopping for a 1911 last night, I uh, found some footage that I had never edited for a USPSA match I shot with our friend Dave Gundry early this year. And um, in that match I had a squib load in my pistol and I got that all on tape so I thought maybe interesting to uh, do a little video about that. So go ahead and check out a few of the stages that went off flawlessly with Dave and I and then we'll uh, come back and talk about that squib load when it comes up later in the footage. Stop, 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 stop. That was a squib. All right, guys, so you just caught me uh, with the squib load about a third of the way through that course of fire, and I did not hear that thing go off, and as I listened back to the tape, I don't hear it. So uh, whether it was a, a bad primer uh, and a little of the powder went off, or whether it was just the primer, there was no load in there, I'm not sure, but that, uh, that bullet did get lodged in the barrel uh, just far enough in to stop everything up, and thankfully not far enough. I was not able to... Uh, uh, chamber another round after that and so I'm very grateful of course to the RO and Dave on the camera who is behind me yelling no and keeping me from uh, going forward. So a squib load in effect can happen a couple of ways um, you know uh, if the primer is bad generally speaking nothing will happen um, but if uh, there's not enough gunpowder in there or there's no gunpowder uh, between the primer and the bullet happen is the primer is enough of a charge to push that uh, bullet out and get it stuck in your barrel. And the big danger, of course, is that you'll chamber another round behind it that has enough room to go off and you'll blow up your barrel, you know, of course taking out potentially a finger or an eye or any number of really negative things that can happen. So you got to be careful of that. There is no real good way 
way of preventing a spit, and we're seeing more and more of them in shooting just as uh, the ammunition manufacturers and the component manufacturers are cranking these things out as fast as they can to keep up with the demand. So um, it's something to be really uh, conscious of, um, but you know, don't freak out about it. Just if, if the gun goes off and you, it doesn't feel right, stop and clear that gun, make sure it's safe. Throwing away a stage is not that big a deal compared to losing a finger or an eye or any number of terrible things that can happen. So anyway, be safe out there. God bless. Go ahead and watch uh, Dave uh, finish up his course of fire so you can see how it was supposed to be shot. And we uh, will catch up with you in a second. Country rock and roll until I die. Manufactured ammunition. It's just uh, every now and again you get a bad part or a bad load. It just it is what it is. If you're shooting a lot, you're going to run into it once in a while. So you know we encourage you to check your ammunition over before you shoot it, and uh, just be really careful out there. Ears and eyes obviously are uh, you know the main protection that we have, and then of course the RO behind me who was awesome. You know uh, shooting at matches that feel safe uh, gives you a sense that it's going to be okay even when something really negative happens. And the ROs here in most of the matches. Minnesota, at least that I know of, are fantastic. So thank you to all you guys at RO for us and, and make it a safe and fun experience for everybody. I wish you all well. Subscribe to the channel and God bless.